Um, welcome, my name is Robert Fenley. I'm a Regional Planning Officer with the Southern Regional Assembly and I'm here to present to you implementing a regional transport strategy for the Southern Region. Through the implementation of the Regional Spatial and Economic Strategy or the RSCS for the Southern Region and the Metropolitan Area Strategic Plans for Cork, Limerick, Shannon and Waterford, the Southern Regional Assembly is coordinating with our transport stakeholders to implement a transport vision for the Southern Region. So why do we need a transport vision? Congestion caused by the dominance of private transport is a cost to our economy, our environment and our health. It is eroding our quality of life. We face challenges as only 14% of the region's population travelled to work education using green modes in 2016. That's lower than the state average of 17%, both of which are too low if we are to meet our carbon reduction targets. 20% of Ireland's greenhouse gas emissions were attributable to the transport sector in 2018. Ireland's national policy position is to reduce carbon emissions in 2050 by 80% on 1990 levels across energy, built environment and transport sectors. It is clear that greater actions to reduce carbon emissions from transport are needed. This slide shows a further indication of the scale of the challenge at a city and metropolitan level. In the Cork metropolitan area, for example, travel mode to work education by private car is, six, is nearly 70%. By public transport, it's 8.6% and walking and cycling is 18.4%. Private car mode reduces in the core city centre to just over 20%, which is positive, but significant change is needed for people moving in the city and to and from the city centre across the metropolitan area and region by sustainable modes. A similar pattern is observed in the Limerick, Shannon and Waterford metropolitan areas. Remember, our region is targeted to have an additional population of 380,000 by 2040, bringing the population of the region to almost 2 million people. Each city and metropolitan area will grow by at least 50% by 2040, above its 2016 population levels. Each of our cities are required to have compact growth patterns. At least 50% of their growth must be regeneration, brownfield redevelopment and infill development within their existing settlement footprints. For all other towns, this target is 30%. It is clear there is a need to fund transport infrastructure-led planning, both retrofitting infrastructure and services, and ensuring that the distribution of future growth is transport infrastructure-led for sustainable placemaking. Now, while the Assembly is not a transport authority, our role in the spatial and economic planning for the region requires us to address the provision of transport infrastructure to service the region, its existing needs and its future growth. In coordination with transport authorities, the Department of Transport, Transport Infrastructure Ireland, the National Transport Authority and other stakeholders, we developed within the RSCS and are now implementing a regional transport strategy. The regional transport strategy within Chapter 6 of the RESIS is part of our region strategy for improved connectivity, digital connectivity, international connectivity through freight ports and airports, regional connectivity and local connectivity. It sets a statutory framework to integrate transport planning with spatial planning and all lower tiered plans in our region. The strategy identifies transport investment priorities for the implementation of metropolitan transport strategies for Cork, Limerick, Shannon and Waterford. For the implementation of local transport plans for our 14 key towns and other settlements for smart and sustainable mobility projects, multimodal travel interchange, intelligent transport systems, for walking and cycling, for example, greater permeability, interconnected walking and cycling routes. It identifies investment priorities for public transportation, our rail and bus networks, seeking improved journey times and passenger services, new stations, feasibility for light rail, high-speed intercity and feasibility for electrification, park and ride, bus connects projects in our cities. Rural public transport, including local link bus services, better linkages to services between towns, villages and rural areas, and better public transport options along our tourism corridors. Enabling access for all, socially inclusive, accessible design to meet all societal needs in transportation. 
and for smart and lower carbon travel, transitioning public transport fleets to low zero carbon fuels, electric vehicle charging infrastructure integrated within planning and design, and increased priority on active travel. It's also important we strengthen our national and regional road networks through the maintenance of existing infrastructure in addition to new infrastructure. This is important for economic interaction, for multimodal freight movement, and for public transport, interurban bus and rural public transport services. These are essential lifelines and part of the sustainable transport network across our region. So how are we doing this? Well, at the national level, the Southern Region Assembly makes observations to government departments and transport agencies in support of policies, initiatives and funding for projects that deliver our investment priorities for transport in the region. At the local level, the Southern Regional Assembly track the development of policies under city and county development plans and make observations requiring land use and transport planning integration and targets to achieve modal change. We are disseminating good practices to encourage actions through framework tools for the implementation of 10 minute city and town concepts that can be used for all settlements in our region. We are looking to set up a RSES implementation working group on the theme of sustainable mobility with a sustainable mobility implementation plan in coordination with transport agencies. We will look to run a series of region wide and local authority specific workshops to learn about good practices, share knowledge, share data and encourage progress on preparing local transport plans and 10 minute city and town concepts. Under the theme of high quality international connectivity, we are also in the process of defining the scope and role for the preparation of a freight, ports and harbours and airport strategy in the southern region. These strategies will aim to inform a strengthening of national policy and the development of actions by the relevant departments and agencies for these sectors from the perspective of regional stakeholders. It is important to highlight that our approach to transparent and participatory policy making in preparing the RESIS with all sectors, won us allies, strengthened our objectives and achieved effective outcomes for us. This is greatly assisting the implementation of our transport objectives. The one word that best captures this is partnership. We built partnerships at the national and the local levels in developing our strategy, and we are building upon these partnerships now in implementation. Examples of objectives significantly strengthened in our consultation process was RPO 176 for 10 minute city and town concepts and other sustainable mobility objectives. To summarize, through the implementation of the regional transport strategy in the RSES and through the actions of our stakeholders, we are supporting progress to reduce carbon emissions from the transport sector, to prioritize public transport and active travel, to retrofit infrastructure and services, to enable transport infrastructure-led future growth, to reduce the distance between origin and destination of trips, to integrate land use and transport planning, to achieve compact growth and smart growth, to deliver safe interconnected networks for walking and cycling, in planning and design, maximize accessibility by public transport, walking and cycling, meet the safe travel requirements and access for all people, to protect the capacity of our regional road networks through careful and efficient transport demand management, to strengthen inter-regional and intra-regional regional transport networks for multimodal connectivity. Through our strategy, we aim to achieve well-functioning integrated transport systems, enhancing competitiveness, sustaining economic progress and enabling sustainable mobility choices for all with benefits to our environment, our health and our quality of life. So thank you for listening and please feel free to make contact with us. Thank you.